Hey everybody, my name is Kim Sieber. Welcome back to my channel. Being vegan is a position of privilege. For one thing, it's more expensive to be vegan than it is to be omnivorous. For example, at Superstore here in Lethbridge, a package of a dozen veggie dogs costs $4.98. A package of a dozen regular hot dogs is $2.28. A two-liter carton of soy milk is $3.98, and a two-liter carton of cow's milk is $3.68. A package of ground round is $1.11 per 100 grams. A package of regular ground beef is 61 cents per 100 grams. If you don't use prepackaged meat substitute products, it's less expensive. For example, to make a meat-based bolognese sauce, I would use crushed tomatoes, onions, garlic, ground beef, and maybe a bit of seasoning. Making a vegan version without prepackaged meat substitutes would require crushed tomatoes, onions, garlic, mushrooms, vegetable broth, canned lentils, canned chickpeas, and soy sauce. That would cost me about $6.19. However, not using prepackaged meat substitutes requires more time. I could fry onions, garlic, and ground beef in 5 to 10 minutes, and adding the crushed tomatoes and simmering would take a few more minutes. However, dicing and sautéing mushrooms and onions, mincing and sautéing garlic, and draining, rinsing, mashing, and frying chickpeas and lentils takes way more time. Plus, I also add shredded carrots. It probably takes me at least an hour to make a decent vegan bolognese sauce. So vegan food either requires more money than animal-based foods or more time, and that's assuming you even have access to a grocery store that carries plant-based alternatives to me. Also, something to keep in mind is the production of plant-based products. For example, for every ton of soybeans produced in the US and Canada, two tons are produced outside of the US and Canada. And soy is a major component of plant-based meat substitute products. Food production in the global south uses lower labor costs, both in terms of wages and in terms of worker protections. We don't need to grow our own soybean because we are in a position of privilege that allows us to buy them from the store after they are grown and harvested by someone who has less than we do, at a far lower cost than if we tried to grow and process the soybeans ourselves. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. You can follow me online at seaver.ca slash Kim. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. If you appreciate the videos I share here on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, please remember to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon.